Barbara. I forget to say that sometimes. I hope you are well. It is Saturday, December 12th. I know it's 12 because half halfway through our advent. I'm sending a warm cup of coffee and holiday cheer out to all of you. I know some of you are not well. Some of you have family who are not well. Some of you are carers and going through some really tough times. I know how that is. Only on a very short scale. So I'm sending you my healing warm thoughts and a cup of coffee and some decorations. I hope they help. <coughs> Apparently, I'm choking on my coffee. <sighs> it is a foggy day here today, but we're not getting a freezing fog, so it's not going to end up beautiful. It's just going to clear up eventually. <sighs> I made some cards yesterday. Well, I didn't make any actual cards. I just made like the front panels of cards. And then I lost my mojo for that and I'm, my library book came. So I read. <laughs> I walked the dogs, talked to my husband, and I read. Oh, and my cream de cocoa is done. And I made myself a Brandy Alexander last night. It was delicious. My cream, cream de cacao was delicious too. So, although I'm trying not to have sweet things for a while, so I broke my routine by having a Brandy Alexander. I don't know why I say a Brandy Alexander. I had to. I don't want you to think I'm a wash or anything. <laughs> they were good. Problem is they go down real smooth. Anyway. So that's what I did yesterday and Joanne has to see my card. So I'll show you what I did. The first two are only half done because I did the watercolor part, but they will get. So this is a Christmas bulb. Ball, Christmas ball. But it will get outlined and maybe some decorations in it. It'll get a little top on it and stuff like that, but I'm gonna do that with pens. So that's one. Here is a not very successful attempt to do long ornaments, but I'm going to finish it and see what I think. I'll outline them and put, you know, hooky things on them and maybe decorate them. I'm not sure. This one is finished. Didn't that turn out cute? <laughs> This one was done with all pens, and you have seen a version of this, and I've done other versions of this. But that's a cute, simple card. Okay, and here's the piece de resistance. I'm really proud of this. Isn't that pretty? I'm just really tickled. The problem is my watercolor paper is not very thick and this technique requires a lot of water. But I have ordered thicker water paper. I don't watercolor paper. I don't think it's going to be here in time for me to actually make cards and send them be and have them arrive before Christmas. <laughs> but I was really tickled with that. That's it. <laughs> then I read almost all of a book. I'm reading the 
bear and the nightingale. Did I tell you that? The bear and the nightingale. It's uh, based on sort of Russian folklore. But I am enjoying it. Oops. Hold on. I left my flosses out of <laughs> on the other side of the table. Advent time. So this is the wool in the color candy apple. That's a nice color. And the silk in old gold. That is also. My L'Occitane is hand cream. This hand cream has a scent, and I don't think I'll be able to use it. I just opened it and sniffed it. Now, some people thought that was kind of gross to give in a in a giveaway or in a package I was sending a uh, hand cream that I had tried. I mean, I had only taken a tiny bit, but I had tried it. So I guess my question is, if I've opened it and sniffed it, is that gross too? Because that, that means that Christy and Aura are getting a lot of hand, hand creams because I'm not giving it away hand cream. Because I think think it might be scented and not sniffing. So anyway, I'd be curious what you think about that. Crafty Toads time. Let's see what the girls made. Oh, that's pretty. I can hardly, it, my lighting in my room is really bad, but I, for some reason the lighting in the cameras, oh, I bet you that's better. So this is a yellow and peach. That's very pretty. I like that a lot. Well, we have some color discussion to do because I need to pick a color for my lacy section today. I have choices. Number 12. <laughs> These little clips are so cute. I have gotten a few more Christmas cards, so I will. Maybe I will string a ribbon in front of this door under this wreath. You see how foggy it is? and hang my Christmas cards on this door. Did I tell you about my great idea for, I probably did, for a garland using pom-poms? If you've seen Christie's um, wreath that she made with pom-poms, she did a tutorial last week on how to make that wreath, but she just jam, it's jam full of pom-poms. And I was thinking of a garland just jam full of pom-poms. You know, you'd have to make a ton of pom-poms. But I was thinking of, you know, the string through it being a set of LED lights. So you'd have these lights coming out. So, and actually tie the pom-poms to the light cord. Have the cord be the... Anyway, that was my big idea. I think maybe when I'm tired of whatever else I'm doing, I might just sit and make a lot of pom-poms. Just in case I want to do that. Okay, I haven't looked yet, but I have opened Megan's. I love this color. This one came from England, but I can't remember what it is. Ooh, she's into oranges these days. I love that. I love that. Maybe a transition section from oranges to pinks. I do like the oranges. 
I will show you my, oh, I haven't opened my, tr my treat yet. I have a treat too. But this is what it looks like. Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to show you all in one shot. And then move into the pinks cuz I got I have I have pinks there too ready to go. That kind of actually mirrors this one a little bit, don't you think? I got to be careful I don't want to mess it up. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. And then move away Move away from the oranges, and then the next section be something like this. Well, we'll have two more days. We'll have four more skeins to pick from. Although I really, really love this one. This was the one from yesterday. I mean, those would be beautiful too, but that wouldn't get me out of the oranges. Oh, I have to have a think. Oh, this is very... The word doesn't come, but you know what I mean. No, it's not. It's not like one... ply is one color and the other ply is the other color, the barber polling, which is what I was thinking of anyway. Oh, but do I want two whole sections that are orange? Well, I wouldn't need two whole sections because that's not a whole section that's orange. Go up there. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today, gang. Anyway, that's where my that's where my shawl is right now. I realized that these blue interludes, which is why it start it feels blue for the most part, although there's a blue too really separate the sections. So I'm not sure how necessary it is that the sections relate so totally like a fade, you know, or blending. I'm really loving how it's turning out, I have to say. But I have one more thing to open. This feels like it might be a pack of cards. It is. <laughs> Carry. Now, New Zealand is A O T E A R O A. Aotearoa. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Oh, I gotta open these. These are so cute. Oh, that's what the back looks like. I thought maybe the fronts might have I thought maybe the fronts might have pictures on them, but they don't. They had they're just regular playing cards. Oh, so cute! How many of these things can I identify? Well, a fiddlehead fern, maybe. The New Zealand flag. Well, it's dark here. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it anyway. Thank you so much. Megan. So that's my advance for the day. I really, I really am. I really kind of want to do that. I love these colors. 
I guess I, I like orange. Does orange suit me? I wonder. I don't have an orange sweater. What do you think? Does orange suit me? With my gray hair? <sighs> anyway. So the plans for today are I'm going to finish my book. Uh, I have 100 pages or so to go. Crazy me. Crazy for me. I did not finish it. Stay up late and finish it last night. I still am trying to get up early. And uh, so I have to go to bed at a reasonable hour. And I did that. So I'm going to make some more card fronts. I sh should try to figure out how many cards I need. And I need to start um, addressing and mailing cards. I'm going to try to do as much of that this weekend as I can. We're going to Aura's tonight and she, we're going to get organize a package for the granddaughters because I had little, just little cheap sun catcher kits, you know, with some gel paints for them to paint them and, you know, that they could use for ornaments and I forgot to include it. in their package, so I'm gonna stick it in Aura's package. So I'm gonna help her organize that today and take her some envelope options. So we'll do that tonight while we are there. So that means I'll be going to the post office on Monday to mail that for her. And I wanna get my cards organized, especially the ones to my families that are gonna include those ornaments because they may not take regular postage and I want to make sure that they get there. So cards, cards are the order of the day this weekend. I will be making a decision about my color scheme. I guess I must have Well, today is day 12, and I'm starting a new, a new lace section. So that's, there are probably five, probably five sections of the lace. So if I did an orange section again, that means two out of the five will be orange and they'll be right next to each other. How do I feel about that? Well, since I have decided that the blue is such a, the stripes are such a big delineator between sections that I don't really have to, you know, there's no reason to match. I didn't do anything that remotely resembled matching there. So I could add those two oranges later if I don't have any options that I like better and maybe I'll go with the pinks today put the pinks in the middle I don't know keep thinking about it but anyway so I'm going to be working on cards and you know actually like addressing them and stamping them and mailing them to that point not just not just doing the front piece but oh my gosh I'm so excited about my card I'm going to do more of these even though it's not, you know, but if I, if I, um, tape this down really well, it won't look too wrinkly. I, I said it sat under heavy stuff all night to keep, get it that flat. So we shall see, but didn't that turn out good? <laughs> My first try at that technique, I might, you know, I, totally did exactly what they, you know, said on the TV. Not like I have any skills or anything, but I'm really thrilled with it. I'm, I need to figure out a way that I'm a little happier with the snow. Some of that snow got pretty big, but that's sort of like the, the, the flakes that are coming down right in front of the camera, right? Isn't that what, that's why they're big? <laughs> anyway. 
So the dogs are quiet, which is kind of surprising because I heard a gunshot earlier this morning. It's a foggy day. Nobody should be shooting a gun. I mean, I don't think there's any hunting season. I don't think I live close enough to a legal hunting area. There are lots of people around here. So I don't know what that's all about. But it's foggy out, so whatever they were doing, they couldn't see very far. But Pearl is calm, so that's good. So I think I will say goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope all is well. Please, please take good care of yourselves and be careful out there. And uh, our one of our vaccines was approved yesterday. It's uh, Pfizer's vaccine. The problem with Pfizer's vaccine is it has to be kept at something like minus 100 degrees, which means that it is only going to be administered in major hospitals, major metropolitan hospitals, because nobody else has the facilities to maintain that kind of temperature. So that is not something that is going to be countrywide because there are large swaths of the United States that, I mean, there are many places where there isn't even a hospital within an hour or two. Um, but, you know, so the large metropolitan areas will undoubtedly be first getting that. Um, and the... Uh, you know, frontline workers and nursing homes and places like that will be first, I'm quite sure. But we shall see. We will keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe and stay sane. <laughs>